If you're looking to become a UX designer, you might get really overwhelmed by all the information that is available online. I was at the exact same spot you are in right now and I felt very overwhelmed by all the courses, all the information and articles that I could find on becoming a UX designer. And so I took this free short course, which helped me get an overview of what UX design exactly means and what a UX designer does. This short course was the entry point into my UX career and now I've been working professionally as a UX and product designer for the past five years. So let's dive right in. I'll show you the short course, what's included in it and how you can sign up. Surprise, you could already guess it. This short course is the short course from Career Foundry. Next to their main programs, they actually also offer free introductory courses that can help you make a decision if this field is really the right field for you. And this free short course actually helps me make a decision five years ago to become a UX designer because I felt very overwhelmed and not sure if I really wanted to invest money in an online school because that was a completely new experience to me. And this short course helped me give the confidence that UX design is really the right field for me. So let's dive right in. I'll show you the short course, how to sign up and what's in the course. First things first, head over to careerfoundry.com. You can find the link in the description box below. And when you are on the, on the homepage of Career Foundry, when you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find the free short courses that you can sign up for. So when you've scrolled all the way to the bottom of the page, you will find this blue banner that says try or free short courses. When you click on discover or short courses, you'll find that there are many different courses that you can take. So also for UI design or for web development. But today I will show you the UX design course because that's the one that I also took. So when you click on this, you just simply fill out your name and your email address and click on the red button that says get the free course. And that's how easy it is to sign up for this course. So after you signed up and you verified your email address, you already get the first email of this six day course. So let's take a look at the first email, which is really just a welcome email that explains how this course is set up and what you can do to fulfill this course. It also has a link that takes you to the first tutorial. So this course exists of six different tutorials. And now let's take a closer look at each of them. When you click on the link in the email, it will lead you to the first tutorial, which is an introduction to user experience design. Now, obviously this is a very good place to start because even UX designers that have been working professionally find it really challenging to explain what UX design exactly is. So that's a great place to start. So when you look through the first tutorial, you'll see that it starts with really the basics of UX design. So what is UX design? What does a UX designer actually do? What's the outlook and the career path for UX designers? This is of course, especially relevant when you're unsure if this field is the right fit for you. And if you want to understand better of what's coming for you and what you can expect when you work as a UX designer. And it also gives you an overview of what you can expect to earn in different regions of the world. What makes this short course so convincing to me is that there's also a lot of media in this, so a lot of resources to deepen your knowledge even more. I see videos linked from Career Foundry, more links to their blog articles, as well as other illustrations and diagrams that can really help you understand what UX design is all about. What is also very useful to know is that if you want to work in the UX field, you don't necessarily have to become a designer. And that's also what this short course shows you. There are many different roles within UX that you can do. So for example, you can also become a UX researcher or a UX writer. So after the more fundamental information about what UX design is and what the UX career consists of or what you can expect from UX design, we'd also do a little bit of a deep dive into the design thinking process. And this is something that you might have already heard about because this is an important process when you're going to work as a UX designer. Moving on to the next tutorial, you'll see that we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the different tasks and into the different skills that you might need as a UX designer. One of the most important skills is 
developing a sense of empathy. Now, of course, a lot of humans are already very empathetic from themselves, but this skill is essential when you want to work as a UX designer, and there are actually ways on how to grow the skill even more. So in this tutorial, you will see an overview of the different steps within design thinking and what these different steps mean. So what this also means for the design process and what we will do during each of these phases. So the first two phases of the design thinking process are empathize and define, which are really important fundamental steps in the design process, because in the beginning of a process, we will learn more about how to better understand our users. What I really like about this course is that it gives you enough knowledge to understand what UX design is about, but it's not overwhelming yet. And you might see some familiar faces when you scroll through this short course, because there are also some videos linked that you might have already seen here on YouTube. The tutorial also shows you how to perform user research and how to synthesize user research. And it gives you a bit of a feeling of what you will be doing when you actually work as a UX designer. You will also learn important exercises like creating user personas, creating affinity maps, or other ways to synthesize the research data that you've gathered. An important next step after you've understand the user and the user problem is to start experimenting with solutions to actually solve the problem that you have at hand. And that is what the third tutorial focuses on. This tutorial talks about the ideation phase within design thinking. The ideation phase is focused on idea generation and experimenting with solutions that you can later on test with your users and see if this really solves the problem or the challenge that they are experiencing. The cool thing about the short course is that it also features videos that professionals made in collaboration with Career Foundry. For example, we have a video from Rob, who is a professional in design sprints, and Brittany, who is a professional in facilitating workshops, also shares her expertise in this short course. So this short course really comes with a bunch of other videos that can really help you deepen that understanding of what UX design exactly is. The third tutorial also touches upon a few essential skills and exercises that UX designers use. For example, crazy aids. This is an exercise that I still use regularly, even though I've been working in the field for five years, because this is an exercise that helps you generate ideas for your wireframes really fast. And it's also an exercise that is great to do with colleagues that might not be designers. After you've defined the problem and you have experimented with different solution ideas, now it's time to actually test some of these ideas. And we UX designers do that by building a prototype and testing that prototype with our users. A prototype is kind of a more built out version of a rough solution idea that you can test with people. So it's also an interactive solution. The fourth tutorial teaches you more about this prototyping phase. And there are a lot of different ways to prototype. You can actually also build a prototype out of paper, but nowadays there are also many different tools that allow you to create a digital prototype really easily. If you don't have access to any of these tools, you can even use Keynote to create a prototype. When you have created a prototype, then the moment of truth comes and it's time to test your prototype. Now, this is always a very exciting part, I think, because this is where you will get feedback from users and you will find out if the idea that you have to solve, your, to solve the challenge that the users are facing is actually the right idea. The fifth tutorial shows you more on how you can conduct this user test. There are many different ways to do a user test. You can use recruitment services. You can use this fifth tutorial shows you a summary of the user testing process. It explains what you have to keep in mind if you want to conduct a user test. And it also gives you tips on how to recruit users for your test. It explains the differences between a moderated user test and a unmoderated test. 
and it also shows you three common user testing methods that UX designers use throughout different phases of the design process. Lastly, tutorial six, the final email and also the final lesson of this short course, and that is how to become a UX designer. So up until tutorial six, you've learned more about what UX design is, what the design thinking process is, and what these different phases of the design thinking process entail. In the last lesson, you will learn more about what you need to do to become a UX designer. Now, becoming a UX designer is something that can come with a lot of challenges, especially when you are someone that is changing their career. You are having a new chapter in your life and that also comes with a lot of different questions. So how can you prepare yourself in the best way possible to become a UX designer? That's really what this last tutorial talks about. So it talks about the next steps that you can undertake to become a UX designer. And we actually also did a video on this where I share my seven essential steps on how to become a UX designer. The sixth lesson talks about the core UX design skill set, which is not only hard skills like knowing certain design tools or certain design methods, but even more so soft skills. Soft skills like communication skills are very important as a UX designer because you are basically building bridges between a product and the user, but also between different teams within a company. One thing that is worth mentioning here is that becoming a UX designer takes time and takes practice and skills. So if you are thinking about becoming a UX designer, make sure that you have that time and that you also have the time to practice a lot because a career change does not happen overnight. Now that you know a little bit about UX design, about the design thinking process, it's really time to reflect and think about is this field the right field for me? And a way to reflect on this is to take an inventory of your skills, think about your previous experiences, perhaps your previous work experiences as well. And that's what this sixth lesson also teaches you or also shows you how you can reflect on your profile and if this profile matches the UX designer role description. So it helps you to identify your knowledge and your experience gap. It also shows you how you can design your learning experience and how you can undertake the next steps in becoming a UX designer. At the end of this six day short course, you will have a final quiz that you can take to test your knowledge. Now, let me take this quiz and let's hope that I actually learned something in the past five years. It would be quite awkward if I don't have a good score on this quiz. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So the final test tells you to achieve over 70% to pass. So let's see how good I will do this. We'll speed through the test because I don't already wanna give you the questions and the answers, but I'll show you my final result in the end. So I've taken the test and I've completed the course and if you get over 70% of the final quiz right, you actually get a special discount in the main UX design program of Career Foundry. So that was the course. I've shown you a little peek inside of what this course exactly entails. I really recommend you take this course. It's the one that convinced me to enroll in the main program of Career Foundry. And I think this course gives you a really solid introduction into what UX design exactly is, what the design thinking process is, and it should give you enough confidence to decide if UX design is the right field for you or not. So if you're interested in becoming a UX designer, make sure you sign up for the free short course. The link is below. You can find it in the description box. And while you're there, click the subscription button to stay up to date of all the videos that we post here on this channel. We'll post many more videos on UX design and how to become a UX designer. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.